Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League. The group stage, match day one action. It's Bournemouth and they take on Bologna. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me to start the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey. Or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. And here's how it looks for Bournemouth. 4-4-2, but not necessarily a conventional one. They're more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek. And that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. at the Bologna starting lineup. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And now King. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today? And the goal, keeping at him. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Fraser, crossing possibilities. Poor pass under no real pressure. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Philip Billing. Crossing opportunity. It's with Polly. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Fraser Jefferson Lerma it's with Fraser take some progress with the ball at his feet useful looking ball keeper's contribution but what next goalkeeper miles out of position what a miss you've got to say well that space the goalkeeper give him there it's a present it's like Christmas Well, that's the frustration of a manager right there, watching his players come so close and being powerless to help. Roberto Soriano. And very deftly cut out. There's no doubt about it, the UEFA Champions League has come a long way since it came into existence back in... 1992-93 and there are many Lee who say it's the highest standard of football you'll see anywhere well I think it is the best club competition
Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. Derek Ray here in the commentary position and I'm joined as always by Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is AZ facing Molde. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me the start of the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey, or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. And the lineup for the home side. This particular setup is becoming more and more in favour. Yes, Derek, one central striker, two wingers who will provide the width, a very narrow three in midfield. The back four, the two full backs will be expected to support, but also defend and help out the centre backs. Read it magnificently and intercepted. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. This is how the visitors will set up today. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him? Well, yeah, Brace in his last game, he'll certainly be a threat. Can he get another two goals or even three in this game? Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. Illegal play and hence a free kick. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. Had outside. Magnus Wolf Eichram. And now Stengs. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. And options in the centre. It's got to be! Just drifted into the illegal position, offside, in the opinion of the officials. Just not looking confident in possession. Heistad, James. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Fruitful looking attack. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. A bit sloppy in possession. Oh, a lovely ball. He's unable to take the chance, and he'll be disappointed here. Well, nil-nil. It should be one-nil. It really should. Well, you've got to try to make it a bit more difficult for your opponent than that. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Crossing opportunity. Options in the centre. Powerful enough, but not precise enough. No, not accurate enough at all. He had other options on as well. Svensson, Mitzieu, Calvin Stengs. On the ball, Alvejan. Can they take the lead? And offside. 
offside is the decision. It must have been very closely. Well, yeah, the linesman's got the best view of them all. I think he got that right. Pubblico di Roma, accogliamo l'ingresso delle due squadre in campo per un bel applauso! Torna 
5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Si porta in vantaggio! Dopo il primo tempo vedremo chi ne avrà di più nella ripresa per portare a casa il risultato. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here on the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. Lee, this ought to be special. Good evening, what a pleasure it is to be here with you, Derek, sitting over this magnificent stadium with arguably the best two teams well obviously the best two teams in this competition this year because they're in the final and what a final we've got the pitch looks fantastic the crowd are expectant there's the trophy just sitting there and the players in the tunnel just about to do what they do best go out and play and entertain us Ring Aydarovic a glorious chance annoyed with himself given the position he was in Lee well yeah they worked it really well didn't he he's got in a position to score and not really took advantage of that
of passing with a velvet touch. Making progress. Can't miss, surely. Terrific block there. And it was turned out, so a throw-in will be next. The cross is on. Bing. And whipped into the box. And that is offside. It is to be a throw-in. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw-in here. Options in the centre. Great opportunity. Well, body in the way. into the centre of the box and a throw in forthcoming it might be on for them now he must favour the cross looks promising this Would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that culminates in tonight very very big night for everybody concerned supporters but most so the players they have to stay focused play the game not the occasion and that's very good refereeing to let the play flow and well, a shocking pass really Street Idarevich. Really a very poor ball. Straight down the throat of the opposition. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Astrid Idarevich. And providing width. Well, let's see about the cross. Not messing around with that clearance. An important interception. Ring, and options in the centre. It's opening up for them. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. Well, the pass not finding its target. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of...
these two countries have a bit of a history of rivalry, don't they? They do, going back many, many years, and uh, you normally get a couple of feisty clashes out on this pitch today. But what we have got as well, we have to emphasise, is some marvellous talent. Well, today it's Canada, and they face the United States. The start of the game here. Canada will play with this starting 11 today. So, Alan, 4 4 2. Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape, it's the one that the manager prefers. Made the challenge well. And this is how the USA line up. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be adjusted. It could almost be a 4-5-1 if they decide to come over all defensive, this team. But uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. And shoots! It hasn't troubled the keeper. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Lindsay Horan and Morgan. They came on strong in that period of attacking play. In the end, it was disappointing. Well, here's an opportunity with the ball over the top. Great chance to go in front. Tried to force it in from close range, but nowhere near the goal. Just needed to pass that one into the net. Megan Rapino, who will certainly be to the fore, you think, in this match. Actually played in a European final for Lyon against Wolfsburg back in 2013. Yeah, and there's another Olympic gold winner. She'll be a threat today. She's a winger, she's quick, loves to get to the byline. What is so impressive about Alex Morgan, she's not just a top athlete, a top footballer. She has another career as an author of children's books too and very successful at it. Mm, obviously multi-talented. Prince to Scott, Michelle Prince. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. Could whip it in from here. Good cross into the near post. And it's in for the opening goal. Well, they were threatening to score. It was coming, and now it has. Well, that's her header, and that counts. Yeah, it was good, really, because she anticipated the flight of the ball in and got there first. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. And that 